Ja, crescendo. Eerste crescendo, zo. Now you have to have enough bow. Yeah, but this is how I feel it. Yeah, I cannot help it. Yeah, you can do this, the things which is printed, of course, and you will do it beautiful. But for me, this is the way. It's good. It's already very good. I mean, try to make a better sound. That means I, uh, you press a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then the sound is a bit pressed. Yeah, the, the bow division is also very important if you make a crescendo. So... Yeah, so I take for this crescendo note, the last one, the highest one, I take about three quarters of the bow. Mm. Yeah, for this... Uh, And you're not used to that, so I ask you to do a crescendo. You did this... Uh... Yeah, then it's pressed. Opposite, okay. Yeah, then it's mm -hmm. suppressed. No, it's not enough bow for this crescendo note. So it should be this, this bow change from the C to the, the B flat. This is important, that there's no gap. It's animato, it's, it's singing, you know, this, this is serious, it's getting serious. First there's the love and beautiful times and now, now there's a dark cloud coming. Yeah, so you have to proceed. Yeah, so more passion. Now, you hear the tremolo. Yeah, okay, to make this more significant, make a bit rubato on those accents. Yeah, you see five accents on those six notes. The sky clears up again. Yeah, mm. uh, very good. I like this scratch because that that was showing that you you want this despair place. You know, this this accent. <laughs> Yeah, clear up the sky. <laughs> 